Apologies <laughs> make lousy parachutes. All right, welcome to the Lone Wolf Garage. It's a little cold out here. That's why I got the beanie on. And I got my uh, Mr. Heater big buddy uh, cranking away over here on high. Uh, but today, today, we're going to do some modifications to our headlight. We're going to put in a Z-Moon LED headlight. And uh, to uh, make this work uh, for the nacelle here on the 2012 Switchback and pretty much any touring bike, uh, you will need to get a new mounting bracket. Uh, this is a Sun Pie, Soon Pie. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Uh, this one is actually one of the cheaper ones off of Amazon. Uh, I'm just kind of curious if it's gonna work well or not. All right, so we're gonna head out into the dark. We're gonna test the original HD OEM headlight. Uh, I'm gonna shine it across my yard and show you its brightness. Let's go check that out. Oh, spooky. Got my little heater going. So spooky. Let's get that on. All right. So, as you can see, that is the low beam across my yard. That is the high beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. High beam. Low beam. High beam. One more time. Low beam. High beam. All right, let's go see if an LED insert gives us better light coverage. I'm actually a little hesitant in uh, putting an LED headlight in here because you do have to change out everything. And say you're out for a long ride and it fails. You can't just put a new bulb in like with this setup. That's the great thing about the original setup is all you gotta do is change the bulb. It goes out, you go to the store, you buy an H4, you're back on the road. With this, if it goes out, you got no headlight. You're just done. That's it. But because it's the winter time and I feel like having fun in the garage and I want something to do, I picked these up on uh, Black Friday, actually. Got a great deal. Uh, normally this uh, Z Moon one is like 40 bucks, but it was like 27 something. Uh, I picked up um, the Sun Pie. Uh, uh, LED headlight mounting bracket for Harley Davidson's. I got this one for like 13 bucks. Normally it's like 20 bucks. Um, you know, I figured why not? Let's give it a try. Let's just see what happens. First thing we gotta do is we gotta remove this entire setup here. Uh, I have a chrome trim ring on here, so I gotta get that off first. Trusty Phillips head screwdriver. One screw down here in the bottom. As you can see, it's got a little retainer clip here that mounts to the top right here. There's a little indent in the metal, and that's where that little guy goes. There will be the same little indent on the new one, hopefully. Not entirely sure yet, haven't opened it. So to take out the entire assembly, we are going to have to take out these eight bolts, screws. I don't, I'm not really sure what they actually are, uh, but they have no nut on the other side. They are actually screwed into, we'll say it's a screw. It's screwed into a rubber bushing. So there are eight of those that have to come out. It's kind of annoying. And they're very, very long. I'm only gonna make you watch me take one out. See how long those things are? It's kind of ridiculous. A little overkill. Let's make the cord really fucking short. Twice as fucking hard to get out. Here we have the empty nacelle headlight on a 2012 Dyna Switchback. And as you can see, here is our H4 connector for our headlight. And then we've got these two extra wires. Uh, so we've got extra power coming up here. So I actually got a new LED headlight that has a daytime running lamp ring. Comes with a white and an amber running light ring. Uh, here, I've actually already marked off, this one is our power, and this one is our ground. I'm only gonna need the actual power for the daytime running lamp, as it is already grounded out through the H4 plug here. All right, let's see what's in the box. Let's see. Instructions of some sort. Uh, comes with a 
adapter plug if you have a 2016 maybe or newer Harley Davidson. My bike has just the H4, so I don't really need that. And here is the actual headlight itself. We have an aluminum construction in the back and it is finned for dissipating heat. Uh, there is a little uh, moisture uh, release valve right there. I think that's what that is. And we have our cord and we have a, what is that, a red and green? Uh, I believe that one of them is amber, one of them is white. Uh, but we're going to find out. I'm going to make a special little jumper to plug those in. All right, let's take a look at the new mounting bracket. Uh, the big difference is that there's a big giant hole in the back. Um, on the old one, um, there is not a giant hole. So this will actually uh, let the fins sit freely and cool the LED headlamp as it should. Let's get this sucker in. So the mounting holes on the original assembly are a little bit smaller than on the new one. As you can see, that fits in there pretty well and covers the hole. And on the new one, not so much, not so much. So we're gonna do a little uh, modification called a washer. Throw a washer on there. Now we've got contact all around. As you can see here, we have the little uh, indent where the uh, retaining clip on the chrome trim ring rests inside of so we got that on the bottom we have our single screw where it actually mounts to um, but i am finding that uh, there's a little problem here i can't quite get this uh in there easily so i think one of these is going to need to be backed out all the way for me to actually get that in there so these are allen heads Grab my metric ones. What looks right? Four? Four looks right. Dead on. Okay, it's a little annoying. Doesn't really, uh, I want to go in. One of the little rubber bushings that the uh, screws that hold it on came out. All right, I'm going to be honest. I'm already starting to feel like this is not worth the effort of putting this stupid thing in. All right, this is not uh, the greatest fit. Definitely takes some uh, manhandling to make it work. Whew. Really not sure this is worth it. Whatever. Let's put a couple of these screws in, plug the light in, and uh, see if it works. Because I'm not taking the bike for a ride, I'm just going to put three in to hold it in place so we can get some stuff on there just to test it. All right, this has a new retaining ring. We're going to have to take that off before we put the Z-Moon uh, LED headlight in. These screws are not magnetic. You might drop them a couple times. It'd be real annoying. As you can see, there's some protective plastic on there. I'm actually gonna leave that on there because uh, uh, pulling it out now, this thing's kind of butt ugly. Um, but yeah, I believe that the DOT SAE part goes on the top. So that's how we're gonna do it. Gonna plug it in first. Doesn't want to sit in there easily by itself. It's 
not a very good sign. All right, it's in. Again, kind of, kind of butt ugly. Um, this this white daytime running lamp area is this kind of ugly off white color. I don't I don't like it at all. Um, but you know, it's in. We're here. Let's let's see what it looks like when we turn it on. As you can see, the uh, regular LEDs are fired up. This is uh, low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam, high beam, low beam. The daytime running lamps here are not on because they're not plugged in yet. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back off. And I'm gonna get the little jumper I just made. All right, not sure if I have enough light up in there, but uh, it's what I can do. We're gonna try jumping this uh, here power cable with my little uh, jumper cable. And I believe that the white is this guy here. Right, let's see if we hooked it up correctly. Nope, that's definitely the amber. All right, let's check to see if these uh, daytime running rings, whatever, half rings, whatever they are, work as white. Hopefully this isn't blinded too bad. Oh, kind of hard to tell, but uh, yeah, it's on, definitely white. All right, let's bring it out in the yard, shine it across the lawn. So I've watched quite a few of these install and review videos of these uh, generic uh, Daymaker style LED headlight inserts for these Harleys. And it is astounding and hilarious how many times guys take their bikes outside or just shine it out the door of their garage with all the lights on, on the house or street light or in their garage. Kind of ridiculous. As you can see here, it's pitch black. First time I am turning this sucker on across my yard. Five, four, three. That's well, pretty bright. Let's see what the uh, high beam looks like. It's very white. Very white light. We're back on low. Just gonna show the front of the bike. Can't really see the um, daytime running rings, half circles, whatever they are. Not as ugly when it's uh, lit up, but again, when the bike is off and there's light shining on it, ugly. So I put the chrome trim ring back on and with the light on it, I'm still not a fan of how the daytime running half circles look. This off white color of it just does not match what I've got going on on this bike. It's black and chrome. The black of the inside of the headlight is okay, but those white spots, oh my God, that's just so ugly. So ugly. I know it's kind of hard to see with the film still on it, but uh, I don't want to scratch like that if I'm going to return it. And I'm pretty sure this thing is definitely going back to Amazon. Sorry, Z Moon. This is definitely a fail. If you can make one of these that has clear lenses on uh, the daytime running rings, you might have a customer on your hands, but I'm not a fan of this. Definitely, definitely sending this back.